Create a fine MBA resume. Make a strong first impression. The correct approach. Step one is to get a fine template for preparing an MBA resume. One pager. Unless you carry more than eight years of experience. Have clear sections. Education, work experience, extracurricular. You may word them differently, but these three sections are sort of a must. Some optional sections can be internship, community service, positions of leadership. The education section of the resume should cover around 15% of the resume. Work X is where the lion's share of resume lies, 60%, and rest of it can be around 25%. This breakup is very important. This will ensure that your resume looks balanced. Use reverse chronological order everywhere. Step 2. Ensure that your resume is easy to understand. Avoid technical jargons. Avoid paragraphs or long sentences. Rather, have bullets. Avoid non-obvious acronyms. If your experience is with a not very well-known firm, include a short description of the company right against the company's name on your resume. Step 3. Focus on accomplishments. Major roles and responsibilities. Promotions. Significant awards and recognition. Cross-cultural experience. Tap on, highlight your global experiences. Leadership experience. Specify the team size, duration of leadership profile, etc. Skip the nuances. And skip any minor achievements. Such as winning a trophy in the inter-school quiz competition. Come to think of it, the resume is about giving a summary of 30 to 40 main accomplishments in your life. And if you have to get down to such minor achievements, the reader is going to have an impression that your achievements have not been significant. So avoid such minor achievements. Next, quantify. Very important. Wherever possible, quantify. Stood among top X percent in class. Brought about a revenue growth of such and such percent for my department. Saved the department so many million dollars per annum through something I did. Magnitude of the projects in which you were involved. Team sizes. Number of nationalities involved. A number at times is worth many sentences. Wherever possible, quantify. Very important. Next, grammar. Ensure no grammatical or spelling mistakes. They can be a serious turnoff. No typos. No SMS language. Write proper spellings. Ensure proper use of periods. Either have them against all the sentences in your resume or don't use them at all. Formatting. Take it very, very seriously. The neatness in your resume suggests how organized you are. The same content can be made to look quite unimpressive through a poor formatting. Always present a well-formatted document, whether it is your resume or your application essays. Always ensure neatness in whatever you are presenting to the admission committee. Ensure proper left and right alignment. Very often, you will have the heading on the left side, the date on the right side. The heading must be at extreme left and the date must be at extreme right. Basic stuff. Suitable and uniform spacing. No overuse of bold and uppercase letters. Such overuse is considered impolite. Avoid gaudy colors. Ensure that your resume is soothing and pleasant to see and read. To help you visualize the impact, let me run you through different versions of a resume from the same student, someone we recently consulted. This is the first version. Not an MBA resume. This is what he anyway had. So let's scroll through it. Some serious wastage of real estate. The table almost always looks bad, and the information is quite cluttered. Achievements, co-curricular activities are quite amateur, not even parallel. Cooking and teach, not parallel. Very often, resumes come to us in this form, the first version. We then give the student an MBA resume template along with a sample resume. Here is a sample resume a lot better. So, much neater, a document, and generally we see a very serious improvement in version 2 from the student. 
However, in his case, this is what we got, and this is what you have here. You will find that while at a glance this looks better, you will see some very serious flaws. His engineering got over in 2013, and the work experience is only from January 17 onwards. Four years are missing in his resume. That's a blunder. So avoid such howlers in your resume. At this stage, we decided to get on a call with the student and give him some serious feedback and inspired him to prepare a very strong resume, a very important piece of document in the entire application process. And then we got the version 3 from him, relatively a lot better this time. And then we had a close look at it. And we returned the version 4. So this is a lot better. This is how an MBA resume should be like. The summary is optional, but if it is there, it should do justice to the profile. Then the academics. Then professional experience. Two sections within the professional experience. An internship. And then the third section, achievements and co-curricular activities. So broadly, the resume looks fine. Look at the neatness here. Everything is properly left aligned, right aligned. The dates are adding up. 2009 to 2013, and then 2013 onwards. Similarly, at work experience, 2015 to present, 2013 to 2015. Breakup of that. His bachelor's degree got over in 2013. So dates are all adding up. There is some very clear quantification of things. See, top 10%, top 3%, 5%, $10 million. 30 plus professionals. We left some comments. This is still not the final version. So a lot of quantification is what you see, and if you read deeper, you will find a lot of concrete material rather than subjective dilly-dally stuff. And see from the same profile, the achievements and co-curricular activities look a lot more rich, a lot more matured, as should be the case with an MBA applicant. This was the concept, friends. To get a strong grasp over the entire MBA applications process, please watch all the 20 plus videos in this series. Thanks for watching!